R.P. McMurphy. A hell of a fish there, Doc. Huh? Isn't that a dandy? Yeah. About 40 pounds, ain't it? No, 32. 32. But I'll tell you, it took every bit of strength I had to hold it out there while the guy took the picture. Every damn bit. Probably um, that chain didn't help it any either. Well... You didn't weigh the chain, did you, Doc? No, I didn't weigh the chain. <laughs> but, Tim, I'm awful proud of that picture. That's the first uh, Chinooker I ever caught. It's a nice one. Mm hmm Randall Patrick McMurphy, 38 years old. Mm. What can you tell me about uh, why you've been sent over here? Well, <clears throat> I don't know. What's it say there? Mind if I smoke? No, go right ahead. Well, it um, says several things here. It said you've been belligerent, talked when unauthorized, been resentful in the attitude toward work in general, that you're lazy. Chewing gum in class. <laughs> well, the real reason that you've been sent over here is because they wanted you to be evaluated. Yeah. To determine whether or not you're mentally ill. This mm -hmm. is the real reason. Why do you think they might think that? Well, as near as I can figure out, it's because I uh, uh, fight and fuck too much. In and the it... penitentiary? No, no, no. You mean why? Wait, why wait, wait, did wait you get sent over here from the work farm? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, well, <clears throat> I really don't know, Doc. It says here that you went ain't around. Ain't up to me, you know. Let me just take a look it at it. Ain't up to me, though. One, two, three, four. You've got at least five arrests for assault. Yeah. What can you tell me about that? Five fights, huh? Rocky Marciano's got 40 and he's a millionaire. That's true. That is true. Of course, it's true that you went in for statutory rape. That's true, is it not, uh, this time? Absolutely true. But, Doc, she was 15 years old, going on 35, Doc, and uh, she told me she was 18, and she was uh, very willing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I practically had to take to sewing my pants shut. But uh, between you and me, uh, she might have been 15, but you get that little red beaver right up there in front of you. I don't think it's crazy at all, and I don't think you do either. I hear what you're saying. No man alive would resist that, and that's why I got into jail to begin with. And now they're telling me I'm crazy over here because I don't sit there like a goddamn vegetable. It don't make a bit of sense to me. If that's what being crazy is, then I'm senseless, out of it, gone down the road, wacko. But no more, no less. That's it. Well... To be honest with you, McMurphy, what it says here is that they think, they think you've been faking it in order to get out of your work detail. What do you like, think about that? Do I look like that kind of guy to you, Doc? Well, let's just be frank for a minute, All right. uh, Randall, if you would. Tell me, do you think there's anything wrong with your mind, really? Not a thing, Doc. I'm a goddamn marvel of modern science. Well, you're going to be here for a period for us to evaluate you. We're going to study you. Mm -hmm. We'll make our determinations as to what uh, we're going to do right. and give you the necessary treatment to... Uh, well, Doc, let me just tell you this. I'm here to cooperate with you 100%. 100%. I'll be just right down the line with you. You watch. Because I think we ought to get to the bottom of uh, R.P. McMurphy.